Hey, look at this wedding couple from Malaysia. Malaysia, huh? Uh, they're from an ethnic minority group called Baba Nyonya. The clothes look kind of Chinese to me. It's funny you should think that, because in the early 15th century, Chinese explorer Zhang He traveled to Southeast Asia, and as the story goes, the Ming emperor got Zhang to take Princess Hang Li Po to today's Malaysia to marry one Sultan Mansur Shah. So the princess and her entourage of 500 servants and handmaidens settled down on the peninsula. The mixed descendants of this marriage are known as Pernakan Chinese or Baba Nyonya. Even today, Baba Nyonya weddings are hugely influenced by Chinese traditions. What do you mean? All a wedding should be held on an auspicious day and time, according to Chinese astrology. And as in China, wedding clothes and stuff are red, pink, yellow, and gold. And Pernakans also believe that good things always come in pairs, as was evidenced in wedding gifts. No wonder it looks so Chinese. Well, it could all be wrong, actually. A lot of scholars debate whether Princess Hongli even really existed.